Welcome. In this video, we will discuss how the western grass grasslands could be conserved. So we will talk about the latest research in which the scientists have figured out the ways through which the grasslands of the western ghat could be restored. So in this video, we will discuss about what is this western ghat grassland is all about and how they could be restored and why that is important. So these are the few things we will talk about over here. So let's start. Tropical mountain grassland. So this is the grassland that has been named or that is particularly available in the Western Ghat. The name is tropical mountain grassland which means they lied in the tropical zone. Mountain means they are on the hilly range or the mountain. So they are tropical mountain grassland or in short to be referred as TMG. In the Shola Sky Islands of Western Ghat. So Sholas are the major forest type that is found in the Western Ghat or the grasslands which need to be protected have suffered brit reduction due to invasion by exotic trees such as acacias, pines and eucalyptus, shrinking the range sizes of endemic species including plants, birds, amphibians, mammals. Some population are being driven to even local extinction. But researchers have now identified areas suitable for grassland restoration and conservation to reverse the decline. So basically what happened is that the alien invasion, so alien invasive species was somehow included in the ecosystem of this grassland including the eucalyptus which is considered as a highly invasive species. It kind of uh, what you can say take up all the water and make the other the native species over there who were being uh, in the ground for a long time to die out because of the lack of water. So it caused the native species to die out by getting all the water for itself. So this is how one example of how the alien invasive species has slowly and uh, progressively had destroyed the tropical mountain grassland of the western Ghat, and that is what the researcher is now going to focus on. So now let's move forward and try to understand how the reversal of decline could happen. So researchers focus on identifying grassland restoration sites so it's not like they can do it in one go. They will try to identify some restoration site by using the satellite known as the rapid eye. So rapid eye would be utilized to figure out which area could be restored first and have recommended careful removal of young and exotic trees at the invasion front and restoring grassland. So this is the idea or this has been suggested by the researcher that the exotic species which has eventually led to uh, the destruction of the native species need to be removed carefully out and uh, the grassland should be providing the breathing space to again restore. TMG are high elevation grassland I just mentioned it includes the component of mountain which means they are located at a high elevation and they are present only in 2% of all grassland in the world. So we have the steppe, prairie, savanna, all these grassland. Out of that the tropical mountain grassland form just 2%. So you can understand the restoration is very important. Among their function it's regulating the global carbon cycle and serving as a source of water to downstream community. So this is the major reason. So they will, uh, they could serve as a source of water for the downstream communities as well as they could work as a sequester of CO2 which is a major greenhouse gas emission and cause the global warming. Researchers say grassland do not benefit from conservation and restoration efforts according to tropical mountain forests possibly due to limited information. Now there is already efforts for restoration of tropical mountain forest but it has been found that the grassland are so much not getting benefit out of it because maybe the kind of nature or the kind of information which is needed for their restoration is limited. Loss of grassland due to invasive exotic trees is a noble threat throughout the establishment and expansion of exotic tree plantation. So again, how the exotic tree plantation would be included in an environment also become a problem now when we know that the alien invasive species could really like choke out all the native species or maybe cause extinction at the local level as well. 
In the Western Ghat, 23% of mountain grassland were reportedly converted into invasive exotic tree cover over a period of 44 years. The major culprit you could understand is the eucalyptus. So if you travel around the area of Western Ghat, mainly near the area of Nilgiris, you will you can like really feel the smell of eucalyptus. So that is how the forest cover so it did help in increasing the forest cover but it actually lead to the uh, destruction or even extinction of the native species attempt to in manage invasive exotic trees in mountain grassland incorporated approaches that include prevention and mechanical chemical and biological control so everything is contemplated that mechanical which means like removal then chemical or the biological control all kind of approaches could be started or could be used in order to remove these exotic invasive uh, species into the uh, from the grassland so which are the examples where this has actually happened where the invasive species has led to the destruction so the palani hills and the annamalai lost grassland due to invasive species so these are the two hills you will find that they have lost their in, uh, grassland because of the invasive species most of these species were planted but that program was stopped around 1900s and since then they were purely invasive so it's not like that uh, uh, even after knowing that they could be invasive the plantation kept on happening but because of their invasive nature itself they have kind of uh, competed out the other native species the species have a very high seed bank about which nothing can be done but cutting them will require multiple cycles so again these are the difficulties in which could be faced by the authorities when they try to remove the exotic tree species or the invasive species from the environment so what could be done now so for invasive species such as akakia mandisil that grow rapidly and disperse seeds widely removing mature tree is open often ineffective so it's like even if you are cutting the trees it is it could really spread its seed very uh, quickly so eventually it will again start to grow an approach that targets the removal of young exotic trees would be more effective when they are like at the seed level if you are trying to remove them it will be easier so that they are not spread so widely similarly restoring grassland where isolated but mature tree exist in grassland patches could be an easy way to further restrict further dispersal so that is again a thing that is why uh, the scientists or the researchers this time are trying to find sites where the restoration could ha happen so this is the way forward which could be adopted and through which it could work out so from your environment point of view just remember that the biodiversity loss this topic is important for your environment perspective and the biodiversity loss we talk about the evil quartet which has end up causing the biodiversity loss and in that we have the habitat loss we also have the over exploitation then we have secondary extinction or is called as co-extinction and we also have the phenomena of invasive alien species so these are the evil quartet which has actually led to the diversity loss so you have to consider alien species has posed a great threat to the biodiversity as well so from that perspective you have to understand so i hope you have understood this video if you have any doubt feel free to drop a comment thank you